Real quick, I just want to come on and talk about uh, what is quantitative easing and what it means. So quantitative easing is the expansion of open market operations um, done by the central bank. It is intended to stimulate the economy by making it easier for businesses to borrow money. So the central bank is an institution that distributes currency um, and centralized currency means it's distributed by the central bank. Um, decentralized, like crypto on the under, other hand, is not distributed by the central bank. Um, and the benefits that people say crypto have over the US dollar, for example, is that it cannot be seized by the government and it cannot be, you cannot, can't have your assets frozen. Um, so quantitative easing is kind of like what happens right before a recession hits and it's an indicator that uh, the economy is slowing down. The stock market is not an indicator of the economy. Stock market is only the stock market because corporate buybacks exist. And that's when companies buy back their own stock to push the price up. Um, so banks buy mortgage-backed securities, uh, which are mortgages sold by local banks um, that are packaged into pools. And mortgage-backed securities offer a higher yield, but also have a higher risk. Um, Mortgage-backed securities add liquidity to the market. Quantitative easing increases the money supply and lowers interest rates. When the money supply goes up, interest rates go down and banks make more loans. Low interest rates mean that the banks uh, increase lending and it benefits businesses. The more money in circulation, the lower the value of currency goes. Um, so reserve requirements are how much money that banks are required to hold in their vaults. Uh, the Fed requires this to be 10% of deposits held in cash each night. Um, when the Fed adds credit, so they give money to banks above that 10%, um, it can be lent out to other banks. Um, so banks take excess in their reserve from the Fed and lend it to other banks. Uh, the problem with this is the value of the dollar is deflationary, so it goes down, and having more of it doesn't stimulate the economy. Um, it just lowers the buying value of the dollar.